Hi future scientists, this is Mom M and I will be your Science Saya mentor in Science 8 for today. Science 8, Unit 1, Module 3, Grade 8, Force, Motion, and Energy. Part 1, Potential Energy. But first, let's review. Last time, we discussed about the Newton's three laws of motion. Now, can you identify which law is presented in the boxes below? If you answered third law of motion or law of interaction for letter A, you are correct. If you answered first law of motion or law of inertia for letter B, you are also correct. And if you answered second law of motion or law of acceleration for letter C, excellent! Good job! Remember, force is a push or a pull. It can produce changes in motion. It causes an object at rest to start in motion or a moving object to stop. Last time, we had the Newton's three laws of motion. We discussed the first law of motion, which is also called as the law of inertia. It shows the relationship between the force and motion. And it shows that the more massive an object is, the more inertia it has. We also discussed the second law of motion which is also known as the law of acceleration. It demonstrates the effect of forces on motion. It shows the relationship between acceleration, force, and mass. And the last but not the least, the third law of motion. It is the law of interaction. It explains why interacting forces do not cancel each other. And the two interacting forces involved here are the action force and the reaction force. Now we're done with the review, let's proceed to our next lesson. Potential energy, kinetic energy, and sound. Learning competencies. Identify and explain the factors that affect potential and kinetic energy. And investigate the effect of temperature on the speed of sound. But today, we will discuss first part 1 of our lesson. Science 8, Unit 1, Module 3, Part 1. Potential Energy. Objectives. Number 1. Define gravitational potential energy. Number 2. Determine the factors that affect the gravitational potential energy gained by an object. And number 3. Calculate the potential energy of an object. Trivia question for the day. Can you identify what is common in these given situations? A. A man holding a hammer at a distance from a table. B. Balls hanging on a grocery display. And C. A biker resting on top of a hill. Yes, all of them have mass. They are at rest and placed at a certain height from the reference point. Because of that, they all have potential energy. Now, let's try to answer the first essential question. What is potential energy? Potential energy in physics is the energy at rest. All bodies with potential energy contain force or energy waiting to be released. Essential question number two. What are the factors that affect the gravitational potential energy gained by an object? The three main factors that affect the gravitational potential energy gained by an object are First, mass Second, gravity And third, height This means that greater mass and higher distance above a reference point offer a greater amount of potential energy. 
specifically called gravitational potential energy, provided that the object is at rest. And the last essential question will be how to calculate the potential energy of an object. As they always say, math is the language of science. So to answer this, let us have this mathematical equation which shows the relationship between mass, gravity, and height wherein potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height where m or mass refers to the mass of the object expressed in kilogram g refers to the gravity of the earth with a constant value of 9.8 meter per second squared and h refers to the height or distance with respect to a reference point and expressed in meters potential energy is expressed in kilogram meter per second squared newton meter or joules here's a practical tips in answering problem solving number one analyze the problem first and number two gather all the given data or use the gresa method Gressa method stands for G, given, R, required or unknown, E, equation or formula, S, solution, and A, answer. Let's try to apply this Gressa method in this sample problem about potential energy. Here's the situation. A man lifted a box 0.5 meter from the ground with 1.0 kilogram in mass. Calculate the potential energy gained by the object. Take note that weight is equal to the constant force of gravity which is 9.8 meter per second squared multiplied by the mass of the object. To apply the Gressa method, we will start with letter G, which is given. So what are the givens in this problem? So we have here the mass, which is 1.0 kilogram, and the distance or the height will be 0.5 meter. And R stands for required or unknown. So here, we are looking for potential energy gained by the object. Weight is equal to the constant force of gravity, which is 9.8 meter per second squared, multiplied by the mass of the box. Now, let us try to find the force first. Here, you will see that force is also equal to weight which is the formula of weight is gravity times mass. So here, we will multiply the values. Here, we have 9.8 kilogram meter per second squared or 9.8 newton. Remember that newton is a unit for force. And acceleration due to gravity is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared. The work done in lifting the book refers to the amount of work and the displacement is the height to which the object is lifted. So for our step 2, we will find the work done, wherein you will notice here that work equal to force times distance. This shows that the work done in lifting an object is also equal to the potential energy gained by the object. So, for our step 3, let's compute for the potential energy. Applying the Gressa method, we will proceed to E or equation or formula, wherein PE is equal to mass times gravity times height. Then S for solution. So, just plug in the values and we will have A, the answer. We multiplied all the values and here we have potential energy is equal to 4.9 newton meter or 4.9 joule. There you have it. Now, let's summarize.
Remember, the energy of an object above the ground is called potential energy because it is stored energy. It has the potential to do work once released. The gravitational potential energy is just one of the types of energy. Potential energy is dependent upon gravity, the mass of the object, and the height concerning a given reference point. Check your understanding. Why do construction sites and buildings post warning signs which say, Watch out for falling debris? The answer, to stay away from danger of a falling object with high potential energy due to its height from the ground. Have you learned something today? If yes, type in the comment section hashtag potential energy. I am interested to know. Are you ready? Next lesson will be part 2 kinetic energy. For more videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.